Hello, just thought I'd go through my lootable body workflow, since it saves me a lot of time at the end of combats. So if you've got uh, NPCs that have items on them that your characters might want to loot, uh, using the Loot Sheet NPC module is a great way to make that happen without having to uh, make a lot of other changes. So you can, of course, use this module to pre-make piles of loot as actors that sit on the scene. Uh, that perhaps are uh, sitting hidden until you toggle them visible at the end of a combat. Um, but you can also use it on the fly, uh, just taking any uh, NPC that's perhaps been defeated, swapping it to the loot sheet module, and then uh, setting it visibility as appropriate. And now your player characters can open up that sheet and loot away. That works great uh, at a small scale, but as soon as you start trying to uh, do larger battles, it becomes rather tedious to go through and set the permissions for each of them separately uh, and that sort of thing. Uh, another thing that uh, is mildly annoying about that process is if you have characters like this bugbear here who have feature type items on their sheets, uh, if you change those to loot sheets, the players will be able to loot the feats, which is not good. So uh, you can, of course, delete those manually uh, before making them available. But again, you have to remember to do that, and it's kind of a pain. So uh, I've got a macro that helps automate a lot of this, and uh, this is how it works. At the end of the combat, I select all of the NPCs that I want to make lootable. I hit this macro here and tell it to convert them. And all my players can see right away that those bodies are available for looting with the overlay icon on them. And they can open them up and loot away. You'll notice also on the bugbear that the feats are gone. Uh, part of the macro is it goes through and finds all of the feet type items and deletes them for you. And of course, it also set the uh, view permissions for these so that all of my players can loot them right away. Uh, another thing that uh, I find kind of useful is to preload characters with currency as well. Um, you probably know that on the regular uh, 5e NPC sheet, there's no place to put currency uh, in their inventory. So what you can do is swap them to a loot sheet add the currency in here and then swap them back and it retains that currency. You can't see it on this sheet, but it's still there. So that when you go to swap them to lootable, the currency is ready for you. Uh, and again, that's another couple of steps that I'd like to not take all the time. So I made uh, a couple of other small macros just to do that swap for me. I'm sure you could write one macro that just toggles between the two, but uh, I did it in two. So if I want this bugbear to have some coin, uh, what I'll do is turn him temporarily into a loot sheet when I'm setting up my scene before the combat has even happened. And I'll make sure that he has uh, all of the coins that he's supposed to have. Uh, not Electrum, nobody has Electrum. Uh, and then I will switch him back to his normal sheet for the encounter and then at the end of it all i'll convert them to lootable and now when the player goes to loot uh, they will see the cash there as well and with the loot sheet uh, they can split it between the party or loot it all or whatever they're going to do uh, yeah so i've put a link to those macros in the video description uh, so if you'd like to grab them and bend them to your will go for it and uh, otherwise uh, happy looting